Hello and welcome back to another WordPress tutorial. Today in this video you will learn how to create a blog post slider inside the free version of Elementor. So as in the previous video we created this blog grid inside the free version of Elementor. So if you are interested in that then you can watch my previous video and in this particular video we are going to focus on how we can create a post slider inside the free version of Elementor and with the use of simple free plugin. We will also use this plugin in our next video in which we will create a CVR resume with a few clicks. So stay tuned for that. And at the end of this video you will be able to have a slider like this inside the free version of Elementor. So let's see how we can create this. So for creating the post slider we will use this plugin which is unlimited elements for Elementor. You can read more about this plugin here and you can also see the demos for example i want to see the carousel then i can open this in a new tab so as you can see this is a demo of dynamic carousel where we can show our blog post and this is how it will look and this is another look as you can see you can design this in the elementor free version and this is a full width so if i check this then we can also create something like this and this is another demo and this is another one so with the use of this plugin we can easily create a post slider we can also create a page slider custom code we can also use custom post types and so on so to install this plugin you can just copy its name then let's go to our dashboard we will go to plugins and we'll add a new plugin here we will search for that plugin and this is the plugin so just install and activate this now you can skip this and this will take you to its dashboard as you can see there are a number of elements that you can use for example creative post widgets marketing woocommerce and so on you can check them you can use them and you can have them according to your needs some of them are free and most of them are pro but as you can see there are a number of free elements that you can use and in this video as we are creating the post slider so let's go to post widget and here as you can see we have a card post carousel we have post blocks that are for free we also have a post list like this which is also free and some of these are pro so as we are going to have a post carousel so i'll just simply install this and now i can use this and for creating the slider we will use the same page that we used for creating this blog post grid so we will just edit this with elementor you can use any of your existing page or you can create a new page for this so this is dependent on you and for creating the slider i'll create a new section and we'll give this some padding and now to create that carousel we will simply search for carousel and here as you can see cart post carousel this is by the unlimited elements we will just need to grab this and this is our first slider as you can see the look is very nice and we can scroll like this very smooth now as you can see the auto play is turned on you can turn this off you can also turn the loop off so this will scroll once you can also turn off auto play on mouse over and this is the number of items so we are displaying three items you can increase or decrease this for example i want four then this is how it will look let's go back to three and this is the margin that is the spacing between them this is the time this is the auto play timeout the transition speed so this is the speed as you can notice you can increase and decrease this according to your need but it looks perfect and this is the button text which is this one so you can change this to something like learn more now this will display that and this is the intro number of character which is this one so you can increase the number of this as well 
and this is the slide to scroll so as you can see the sliding are scrolling only one post you can increase or decrease them according to your need as well and this is from left to right so if i enable this then this will scroll to the right side so you can enable and disable this as well and let's go to layout and here you can design this for example i want to hide the arrows then i can simply disable this now we don't have arrows we only have dots so we can enable or disable them as well but let's keep the arrows and this is the category which is the news and these are the categories basically so if you want to hide this you can disable this now we don't have categories and this is the date, the title, the intro, which is this text, and the button and so on. If I want to hide the button, then I can hide this. And now we don't have the read more button. And inside arrows, you can change the style of arrows. For example, you want to use another icon, you can do it easily by changing the icon. So for example, I want to use this one. Then as you can see the left icon here is changed. I can do same for the left one. Like this. And inside post query you can decide which things you want to scroll. For example post, pages, a form, landing page and so on. So you can decide that right here. For example related post, manual selection. For example you want to scroll the custom post then you can do it easily you can have related post or you can select manually so if i choose this then i can search for a post and i can display them so let's go back to the custom post and here you can put more condition on your post for example you want to display post from specific author then you can select that you can select a specific date post parent meta and so on so all of these are depending on you that how you want to display your post. We also have include by terms. If you want to display a specific category then you can decide it over here. And this is another condition for example you want to pick a specific category then you can select N and R condition and that will have child and so on. So you can check all these options according to your need. You can exclude specific post for example you want to exclude a specific post or a post from author so you can decide that over here and this is the post status so you we are displaying the published post you can also post the drop post and so on this is the number of maximum post we are displaying 10 you can increase and decrease this this is order by so you can order by title date slug and so on and this is the direction ascending and descending so you can decide this according to your need as well and inside force pagination you can decide the pagination for example you want to keep these numbers so you can select this and we will get these numbers which we can design in the style tab you can also install another widget for this one which we will see later in this video but for now let's turn this off and these are some advanced options so here you can edit this with HTML editor and if you don't know about HTML coding then you can leave this and inside the style tab you can stylize this according to your need for example you want to change the height of image you can do it easily here you can change the radius of the image which is this corner and the content here we can set the padding so this is the spacing around the content this is the background as you can see the background here the alignment is the center so we can align this to the left side like this or we can keep this on the center and this is the minimum height of the content which is this height and the category we can style the category that we just hide we can change that stylography but let's try this for date as we have that so we can change its color from something like this so this is completely dependent on you that how you want the colors let's keep this as that color 
and inside title you can change the title color the typography and so on and all of these options you can check them one by one and it is very easy to change the colors and typography so this is how you can create a post carousel let's update this and preview the page now as you can see we have this slider over here so this is how you can create a post slider inside your Elementor free version again this is a really powerful plugin you can use this for all of these purposes you can also create menus headers and so on and instagram widgets buttons icon boxes image galleries video galleries and so on so we will check these options in the upcoming videos so stay tuned for that and this video was about how we can create a slider now this is completely responsive as well let's check that if i go to mobile view then we will have one post at a time and we can scroll that with the touch or with these dots so this is how you can create a post slider inside the free version of elementor i hope the video will help you if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next